prior to performing the procedure, review the client's medical record and check the doctor's order for the need to perform the assessment to verify the order. Determine the scope of assessment needed, prepare necessary equipment. Number two is to perform hand hygiene, apply gloves if needed, and observe other appropriate infection prevention procedures to deter the spread of microorganisms. So hi sir, my name is Michael Sausen and I am your student nurse for today. Uh, may I ask what is your name? Jane Mikiana. Okay, so what is your age? 28 years old. 28 years old. And what is your birth date? December 23, 1992. 23. So okay, let me verify here. Your, your name is... J. Villena at age 23 and you are born in December 23, 1992. Is that, is that okay? Okay. Alright. Okay, so sir, now I'm going to assess your cardiovascular system to identify significant factors that can influence cardiovascular health, such as high, high blood cholesterol, cigarette use, diabetes, or hypertension. You just have to relax. Um, do what I'll tell you to do. None of this will do any harm. So, do you have any questions before we proceed? No. Okay. So, I'm going to close the door to provide your privacy. And everything that revealed in this assessment will be of confidentiality. Okay, thank you. So, for the present health history, um, what, what are you feeling right now? I'm good. Okay. Do you have any allergies? No. Any cardiovascular diseases? No. Do you take medications? No. Okay. For the family history, do you know somebody that has diabetes? No. Cardiovascular or any inherited diseases? No. Okay. In your current lifestyle, are you on a diet? No. Do you smoke or drink alcohol? No. Okay. So, are you feeling okay? Are you stressed? No. Feeling any discomfort? No. Okay. Is your sleeping pattern okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, so for the assessment of the jugular veins, I'm going to raise the bed by 30 degrees. Tapos... In this procedure, we will inspect the jugular veins for distension. So, sir, can you please move your head slightly to the to the right? Okay, to the left, please. Okay, sir, I'm going to ask you to turn your head again to the right, please. Okay, to the left, please. Can you turn your head to the right, please? Okay, 
right to the left please For the assessment of the carotid arteries, still slightly elevated at 30 degrees, um, I'm going to ask you again to turn your head to the right side and you're going to hold your breath as I put the bell of my stethoscope for me to listen the presence of breath. Now turn your head to the left. Now hold your breath. Okay, you can mix up. So for the assessment of the heart, this position relaxes the neck vessels allows better visualization and access of the precordium. So, sir, we're going to remove your gown for me to inspect and palpate the following locations of the valve areas of the heart. Using the palmar surface of the hand, palpate in the areas of the apex, the external border, or base of the abnormal pulsations. Okay, so for the auscultation, it is for the heart rate and rhythm by placing the diaphragm of the stethoscope at the apex and listening closely to the rate and rhythm of the apical impulse, Count, counting the heartbeat for full minute. So sir, I'm going to ask you to breathe regularly while auscultating.
Okay, sir, can you please turn to your left side just a little bit? Okay, sir, can you please sit up? Okay, so can you please lean forward?
Okay, you can now lay down. Okay, so now we will proceed to the assessment of the peripheral vascular system, um, examining the upper extremities. Assessing each arm for size, symmetry, skin color, and temperature from fingertips to shoulder. Noted for any presence of edema, lesions, changes in skin texture, and hair distribution. So palpate for the radial pulse, brachial pulse, and ulnar pulse individually and bilaterally. is assess the capillary refill. So performing the Allen test. Okay, sir, I want you to form a fist for me. Okay, spread your fingers. Let me form a fist again. Okay, spread it again. Okay, let's do the other side of the arm. Okay, once again for my fist. Okay, spread your fingers. Okay, for my fist again. Spread your fingers. Okay. Okay, so examining for the low, lower extremities. At the supine position, assessing each leg for size, symmetry, skin color, and temper temperature from groin to toes. Okay, palpate the femoral pulse, popliteal pulse, dorsalis pedis, and posterior tibialis. Okay, so we're going to slightly flex your knees for the popliteal pulse.
Next is the palpate for the calves for firmness or tension of the muscles. The presence of edema over the dorsum of the foot and areas of localized warmth. Push the calves from side to side to test for ten tenderness. Then proceed for the capillary refill for both legs and repeat the proceeding steps with the other leg. So sir, that was the assessment of the cardiovascular and peripheral vascular system. The jugular veins are not visible, the carotid arteries have symmetric pulse volumes and no sound heard on auscultation or absence of breath. The auscultation of the heart, it was 85 beats per minute which is in the normal range of adult heart rate about 60 to 100 beats per minute. The upper extremities is absence of redness and tenderness it is the same as your lower extremities so everything is normal it is a very good assessment do you have any more questions no okay so thank you very much sir for your cooperation and i hope you have a wonderful day thank you